Hi guys, this is Daryl at Indigo, and today I'm going to address a situation that was brought to our attention by clients that have been considering using DE fixtures, the dual ended high pressure sodiums, and they also wanted to use our 420s, um, and those with pontoons too, so they could try to hybridize and get the benefits of you know the intensities of the DE, but uh, you know the broader spectrums that our 420 offers. So what I have today is uh, my helper is Jeff, and we're going to start showing you some measurements in terms of what the uh, approach we looked at and you know what we could expect to achieve as the advantages of merging these technologies so we have a room we're about to turn into a grow room and it's going to be a drip to waste we'll be streaming this but before we did so we put down this black vinyl and you'll be able to see some measurements right now currently the problems that we see with DEs is that they create a lot of heat so most grow growers are griping that they need to move that DE up higher um, certainly that casts a lot of intensity um, so the temperatures and the intensities are sometimes more than the plants can comfortably handle. So it affects trans evaporation rates and uh, growth quality of the plant. But as you can see in looking at this room, uh, we have our 420s at 24 inches off the canopy. And uh, Jeff, go ahead and let's put our Apogee sensor under there. Uh, let's put it under the 420 first. And as you can see, our measurements right now at uh, 545 micromoles at center. And we're not all about showing you a point-by-point -point photometric here. What we're showing you is that in a flowering room, and this is not a vegetative application because we are using a high-pressure sodium digilume fixture here. It's a great quality fixture. The intensity is directly under it at, uh, what are we at, 36 right now, Jeff? 42 inches. We're at 42 inches, so there's a foot and a half difference between the Digilum and our, our 420s. And that 550, 600 micromole readings that we're typically getting out of the 420s, you know, we're comfortable with that in terms of uh, uh, the overall flower quality that we're getting. But if we want to pick up some extra energy under that 420, we look at deflecting that energy, okay? So by simply taking a highly polished reflector and dropping it under the DE, we'll get a little bit of drop directly under the DE, but look what happens under the 420 now. That measurement went from, uh, we're up at 650, 700-ish, okay? Um, so there's another 200 micromoles benefit in having done that. And as you can see with our, uh, we call it a deflector, your DE flector, it's not only taken off some of the intensities directly underneath now, we're seeing a more homogeneous well, that's directly underneath. You're seeing a 400 because there is a bit of a shadow. It's only four inches wide. But the minute you're outside of that shadow, you're back up to 1,000 micromoles. And that shadow is nothing. So now we start moving across. Let's go over to the right. And we're seeing, again, the 420 pontoon combo and flower um, is giving us intensities that are going to allow us to start uh, increasing our CO2 levels. Now let's remember this is designed to go six foot on center on the 420s with a DE in the middle and uh, you're going to ultimately look at situations where there's going to be a fixture after this one so if we see this fixture here imagine this walls not here and there's another DE the sample layout would go something like this you would have a 420 a DE a 420 a DE a 420 then your next row would um, alternate with a DE a 420 a DE a 420 a DE and so on um, that being the case, when we start looking at these values, um, this represents the DE at a 42 inch center, mm -hmm. uh, lamp to canopy that is, and this represents our 420 with pontoon. Though the value you see here at 720 will actually go up from the benefit of this DE. So this DE on this side will be contributing to more energy underneath, putting him up to more like what, 900 to 1000 micromole. And I think that represents a couple of things. One, we can increase CO2 levels. But two, we don't have to worry about all that heat because at 42 inches, we've lost the temperatures. Everything's running somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, you know, 95, 98 degrees uh, between the DE and the 420s. And then that heat can be managed as it's collected um, up at the ceiling and evacuated out of the room. We have the broad spectrum. So with the broad spectrum, we're going to be able to see higher quality finishes on our plants. And with the pontoon, we're getting the 660s which the HPS does not have, and it lights out, we're getting the 730s. So, how does that help us? Well, it trips the plants into flower instantly. And as you can see, we've got energy left on that DE, 
It'll take about two or three minutes to burn out, but you can see the 730s that are running on lithium ion batteries. So now our indica doms, those plants that like a long photo period uh, or a, a, you know, a longer period of light uh, can mimic that same condition indoors because you're triggering the phytochrome far red response. Um, as a veg room goes, pretty much the same thing except you're not going to have the pontoons and you're not going to have the DEHPS. Um, you could veg everything under the 420s. You wouldn't have to go to any metal halides whatsoever. So this is a work in progress. The next images you see will be that of the uh, garden. It will be a uh, drip to waste and uh, certainly we're looking forward to see the results out of that. So thanks for joining us and uh, if you have any questions or comments give us a call. Visit our website. Thank you.